Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. Let's spend a moment or two of silence, remembering why we've come, remembering we come to worship a holy but merciful God, one who loves us through and through. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let's have a moment or two of silence, allowing God the Holy Spirit to examine ourselves. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, but we have turned aside from your way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word is a light on our path, but we have walked in the darkness of our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life, but we have not listened to your voice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself. And so bring us at last to your heavenly city where we shall see you face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John, glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 6, begin to read at verse 25. When they found Jesus on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, you are looking for me, not because you saw miraculous signs, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, What must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, The work, work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, what miraculous sign then will you give us that we may see you and believe it? What will you do? Our forefathers ate the manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, I said, from now on, give us this bread. And Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Father, by your Spirit, speak to us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. From time to time over the years, I've managed to see a few minutes of the TV program Countdown. In fact, it was never one of my favourite programmes because I'm pretty useless when it comes to words. I'm much, much better doing that something, the numbers thing in the middle of the programme. But well, I want you to imagine that I put up before you this morning these letters. An S, 
a V, an E, a T, an R, an H, and an A. Can you make a one word out of those letters? Well, if you could see the problem we just said, that I have no doubt that someone or all of you would very quickly work out the answer. <coughs> I probably wouldn't. Words are not my strong point. But if you put the words together, the letters together, in fact, you make the word harvest. Well, at this time of the year, churches celebrate the harvest. Christians coming together to give thanks once again for the abundant harvest, enough to feed everybody in the world. So we give thanks for the abundance of the harvest and for the variety of the harvest, for all we enjoy throughout the year. So this morning, what I want to do is to use these seven letters of the word harvest to remind us of some important things about the harvest. Well, taking some of those letters of the word harvest, we can make the words earth and sea. A reminder that our harvest each year comes from the land and from the sea. And it's important to remember and to give thanks for all those who work hard and sometimes in dangerous situations to bring us our food from land and sea. It was good on Sunday to sing once again the old favourite harvest hymn, We Plough the Fields and Scatter. A hymn that reminds us that we, as human beings, people do work long and hard to bring us our food, but also that hymn reminds us that we also need to thank God, because ultimately everything depends on the life force of God, the Creator and Sustainer has given us. And of course, those same seven letters from the word harvest can spell the word starve. And that's a reminder that while we enjoy the harvest, there are many in our world who do not. For they have little or no food, and many do not know where the next meal will come from. The Christian can never tuck into meal after meal, meal without doing something to help. And not just a contribution at this time of the year at our harvest service, but throughout the year. We may not be able to do much, but every little helps. And we need to show our practical love to our needy neighbour near and far. And again, we are reminded of our God-given task to love our neighbour as ourselves. Well, the same seven letters can also spell the word share. To share does not mean necessary for us to go without, for we are being asked to share our abundance with those who are without, so that all of us can lead healthy lives. And perhaps a key word to all of this is another word that we can spell from those seven letters, and that's the word hearts. Hearts. If our hearts are on fire for God, if we are truly grateful for all his generosity to us, if we know the forgiveness of sins and the fresh start that Christ's death on the cross has given us, then surely we will have grateful hearts for all he's given us once again. And surely we will be grateful for all those who help produce the harvest from land and sea, and all those who bring the harvest into our supermarkets and shops, and those who work there, and those who put the food in front of us, beautifully cooked and so on. And surely, while they are enjoying the abundance and the variety, if our hearts are right with our generous God, then we will gladly, gladly share what we have with our needy neighbour near and far. Well, let's confirm what we believe about God, and then we're praying about some of those details. Let 
Jesus. Affirm what we believe. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, the source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again? We believe and trust in Him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in Him. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. As we thank God for the harvest once again, all that we enjoy throughout the year, let's give thanks for those who work hard to bring us our food. Farmers and fishermen, delivery drivers, those who work in supermarkets and shops, all who are in any way involved in bringing food to our table. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Let's pray for our world facing the continuing challenge of a pandemic for leaders of the countries of the world, for scientists, for medical people, doctors, nurses and others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our country, for our Prime Minister and his government, our opposition, those in industry, commerce, unions, for all who influence public opinion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all those who are trying to solve the problem of fuel delivery, let's pray for HGV drivers, those people we take for granted until there's a problem right now. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. For those we know who are sad, who feel very much on their own, Who are struggling to make ends meet. For those with family problems. Lord, in your mercy, you hear are. our prayer. For our young people going off to university, particularly those for the first time, who will quickly make friends, settle down. And enjoy their time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let's pray for the church. That as individual Christians, wherever we may be in this world, whatever the challenges facing us, that we may live for Christ with hearts on fire for Him and for our needy neighbour. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for our church here, the Kingsley, the churches in this deanery, this diocese, the less and less clergy, bills to be paid, people who have returned to corporate worship in their church since the beginning of the pandemic, Let's pray. Pray for our clergy and people. We may reach out to others who need to hear of Jesus. 
So surrounded by the prayers of all the saints, we commend the whole human family into your tender and loving care. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You gave us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the works of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embrace the people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them, you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary to be the living bread to whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave his thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave me thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made one fall upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Bring us at the last, with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power, be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Rejoice in God's presence with us now. Let us pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bear of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts 
for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.